Let's begin part one of the core strengthening program. Firstly, set up your posture correctly. The posture still will be on a flat surface. Feet will be firmly attached to the floor. Knees and hips will need to be approximately at 45 degree angle. Make sure you sit nice and upright by bringing the shoulder blades up, back and slightly down. This will help to bring our shoulders back over our hips. Then suck the belly button in towards the spine, which will activate your core strength. And this is the first step of your core strengthening program. When you're able to do your three to five minutes comfortably, we can now begin to add some additional exercises to further improve your core strength. The first exercise is called the rock and roll hips. And I'll show you this from the side. Again, maintaining the neutral posture. Feet flat on the floor, knees and hips at approximately 45 degrees, shoulder blades up, back and down. To do this successfully, you really want to try and keep the torso as straight as possible. From this position, you now want to rock the hips forward and back like this. It is important to remember that when doing this exercise that your torso remains nice and straight at all times and all of the movement will be generated from the hips. Ideally, you want to do this exercise 10 times. Doing the rock and roll hips with ease, let's move it up to another level. Again, make sure you're sitting up nice and upright, shoulder blades up, back and then relax down. From here, keeping the torso nice and straight, you now want to move your hips side to side, like shown. Ideally, you want to do the side to side 10 times. For those that are feeling a little bit more adventurous, let's now move into a full clock. Again, just to reiterate, it's really important that when doing this exercise that the torso is nice and straight, feet are flat on the floor, knees are hip width apart. With this exercise, your hands can be comfortably rested on your thighs. From here, you want to rock the hips forward, then to the side, backwards to the opposite side, and forward. So what we're looking at creating here is a clockwise circle. Ideally, we should be able to do this 10 times. Once we've done 10 times clockwise, then recreate the same exercise anti-clockwise. We're now comfortable with how to sit on the posture stool whilst also doing some basic exercises. We can now add an extra exercise, which I do for my own patients, called the lifts, kicks and marching. To do this exercise, you want to raise your right foot up off the ground and hold for three to five seconds and then relax. You'll then raise the left foot off the ground, hold for three to five seconds and relax. And you want to do this 10 times on both sides so that it should look like this. Now again, I really want to emphasize that when doing this exercise, to make sure that your core strength is activated and you're sitting nice and tall on the posture stool, maintaining slow, controlled movements. The next part is actually raising the leg to 90 degrees. Firstly, raise the left leg up to 90, Hold it for three to five seconds and then relax. Then with the opposite leg, raise that up to 90 degrees, hold for three to five seconds and relax. And you want to do this 10 times on both legs. Again, making sure that the stomach is tightened. So bring the belly button in towards the spine and your torso is nice and straight. So that it should look Something like this. The third part to the lifts, kicks and marching is the actual marching component. What you want to do from here, nice and slow and nice and controlled, 
It's just to simply march up and down. Just like this. And you want to do this for anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. Now these exercises are extremely effective for working the core. So please be aware to build yourself up slowly over time. You may find that you can't do 10 to begin with and that's absolutely fine. If you need to start by doing two or three each repetition, you can slowly build up your way over time as you improve your core strength.